going on guys, it's Cal here from KR Sabers and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply your battery decal sticker kits. So basically if you've got an 18650 battery and you want them to look a bit more uh, sort of metallic looking. So these are the copper ones, what they look like. This is the chrome, it's pretty cool. We've also got gold and a prism colour. So I just keep them in here for safekeeping. So we've got a gold one. It looks pretty nice if you're doing like a crystal chamber. Just adds that sort of extra little flair to your to your build. So this one's prism, so it kind of reflects all different lights, like the spectrum of light. Which is really nice. They're, they're really easy to apply. I just thought it would be useful if I showed you guys a video. So I've got a standard battery here, and this is a keep power battery. It's kind of common practice now for people to be using these batteries. They're the best quality ones for use with NeoPixel and for use with sabers in general so a lot of tests have been done with different batteries and we found that these are kind of the best ones so you'll notice that these are the ones that we sell on the store they used to be the 31 20 milliamp versions but because of the chip shortage those ones aren't available at the minute i'm not too sure when they're going to be available again but we we carry the three amp ones the 3000 milliamp ones so you get a little bit less runtime but they're just as good they still have the key 15 amp continuous discharge current that you're looking for so when you have one of these batteries and you get your kit, you'll get a sticker and you'll also get a heat shrink sleeve. This is what then protects the battery and the sticker. So you'll notice that this has a black heat shrink sleeve and what they do is the battery goes in the tube, they heat it and it, and it forms around the battery. So it's nice and easy. So all we're gonna need really is just some sort of sharp blade. I've just got a Stanley knife or a, you can use an X-Acto knife or something. And we wanna remove the protective heat shrink on here. And then once we apply the sticker, we then put the clear heat shrink over it and we heat it, which um, I use my SMD rework station, which is sort of this tool here. It just blows hot air and I can set it on my solder and iron. I usually set it to about 110 degrees Celsius, that is. Let's get started. So we've got our Stanley knife, our trusty Stanley knife. I do want to say that batteries are hazardous goods and you want to be very careful that you're not cutting deep into the battery or if you're under the age of 18 you know have someone to help you we just want to be removing the protective uh, heat shrink so you might actually want to start from here and just get your standing knife or your sharp blade and just get a little crimp of it up if I can show you on the on the camera just want to get a little bit and then start peeling it away and you'll see the, the raw cell underneath. So what you'll find is that battery companies will buy cells from battery manufacturers and then they'll put their own PCBs on it or offer them in different packages. For example, Keep Power offer this battery, but it might not actually be a cell made by Keep Power. It might be, a, in our case, you see, it's a Samsung cell. So they buy the batteries from Samsung and then they you know, offer them. So we've got the first layer off now. Now you can apply the sticker over this if you wanted to, Personally, I like to cut along the orange captain tape and remove the, the pink one as well, simply because I don't want any chance of seeing the pink or anything like that. I just want to, I don't want to disturb this captain tape. It also makes it a bit easier putting the heat shrink on because it's less thick. So I just go down the line here and you're just scoring it really. You don't want to be actually cutting into the battery or anything like that because we don't want to cause any damage. And then we want to score along here as well. There we go. Now I'm just going to pry it off a little bit and we'll get to here. So we want to have a cut here as well. So you see I've got everything off apart from that nickel strip. So I'm going to tidy this up a little bit. Just get this pink, last pink bit off. So, all right, we've done that now. So the nickel strip. It's still isolated and we've got the cover off. 
Now we just want to apply the sticker. Put it down here, get the sticker. And as you can see, you can just do a little test fit. Obviously you don't want to put it that way because that's not the right length, you want it this way, length place. And we're going to just get any dust off the sticker. And we're going to apply it and we can use that as the straight edge, the nickel strip, which works out quite nicely. So we'll get the sticker. And these are metallic stickers. They're a bit thicker, like that. And I'm just going to apply this along that edge, making sure it's in line. I'm pretty sure I've got that. And I'm just going to slowly press it down line by line like this. So I want to make sure it stays straight. I don't want to lose any crazy angles. You'll see we'll come full circle back around. Now you can see a little bit, I've gone a bit too high on this end. The good news is it's very forgiving. Tightly down. There we go, that's much better. So now we've got that perfect edge. You can see it's met up really nicely with the battery. And the cool thing about these heat shrinks is they do have uh, edges to them. So what I like to do to make it even neater is I'll line up the edge with where the sticker is meeting. We've got a heat shrink. And we want to just I kind of do it like, like that to get it open. And we just want to get it open entirely. And then we can start to feed in the battery. This is the trickiest part I'd say. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna get that edge. So you see there's a line in the heat shrink. I line that up with where the two points have met for the sticker. And I just slide it down like so, and then it becomes nice and easy to go on after that. So we're sliding it down, line up with that line, and you want a little bit poking out the top, I can show you, you want a little bit of the heat shrink poking out the top, and a little bit poking out the bottom, because when it heats it, it will fold over like that. We can then, I'm going to set my hot air to, what channel looks like, maybe like 110, so we've got it to 110 now. And now we're going to heat it. So you see I just feel the hot air on my hand. And we're going to shrink it. We'll go around the battery, making sure And don't hold the heat on for too long because you don't want to melt it but when you're at a temperature of like 110 it should it should shrink nicely and not risk melting it and then i just kind of hold it on my table and i just go like that a little bit and roll it around just to get all the bits and there we have it we'll let that cool down but we've got a nice gold removable battery goes really well if you have like a master chassis or something like that like I said here's some I made earlier <laughs> I've got gold again so some gold batteries I'll probably put that in one case because they're both gold I can use them for future projects like my Ahsoka master chassis or something like that that'll go really well a pair of gold batteries again we've got the, the prism color which came out really nice nice reflective sort of prism on there and we've also got our copper and chrome so we're going to be doing some more battery design stickers because to do them as a heat shrink is a bit limiting because they can only do certain amount of colors on each print you can't make it metallic or anything like that so the copper one's one of my favorites it looks really nice 
and the chrome is also one of my favorites chrome kind of goes with everything so if you've got like an aluminium and brass crystal chamber and you want your battery to look nice uh, these are really cool i don't know about anyone else but whenever you would buy a chassis like an eco chassis or a plastic chassis not one that's metal um the battery would kind of always make it a little bit off putting but now that we've got these it can add that sort of metallic flair because when i used to buy shapeways chassis a lot of the time when i used to do installs in the past I used to um, spray paint them silver and because of the nylon material they would absorb paint really well. So you would have this really nice like silvery looking chassis and then just this black battery right in the middle, it didn't look right. So I'm, I'm curious to see how you guys use these and, and sort of uh, how you add that extra flair to your build. But I hope that this as a guide helps you know how to apply it to make it a bit easier. So that's what I do when I do it, it doesn't take too long. It has a nice extra flair to your build. Obviously be very careful when you're handling batteries. If you do have any questions, you can just shoot me a message and I'll try and help. For now, that's it guys. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.